of this origami mosquito project of mine and yeah so first of all i done a test fold of the resin um, off camera i will talk about this at the end of the video where i will take this all apart this was done 24 hours ago and um, it says 24 hours to dry i'm going to give it another day so i will record the final part of this video tomorrow to make sure this is fully properly dry and it is rock solid so that is quite neat um, I'm, I'm excited to see how this turns out um, I know how to do this better um, as of this attempt but for now we'll put that to the side next we are just going to test th th this video is just going to be testing the resin again so I'm just going to fill this little test mold up with Ryujin scales make a little stand for it with the ultraviolet resin and we'll just see how this turns out as well again i'll film the end of this result in a few days and we'll go from there so first of all gloves on now this is an odorless and uh, non-flammable non-toxic resin so i don't need to wear a mask and i did do from the test yesterday um, there was no odors or anything whatsoever as I did a little sniff test throughout the period to see if I could smell anything but nothing appeared right so it's equal volumes uh, again I never recorded this one on camera I just wanted to make sure that I was taking my time to do this correctly to see how it worked uh, to see if I was doing it right to see how it turned out um, I just didn't want to rush it because I was being filmed but it's good to go, it's easy peasy. Next, first of all, we need equal parts of um, each uh, of the hardener and resin. Now, I only have this measuring jug. I did have other ones, which I used for this, but I bin them because I wasn't sure if I, uh, how to clean them or not. But I have more coming, so hopefully I will fill this up with equal parts and then we will go from there. So first of all, we'll just go with the resin. Now once I mix all this, I need to heat it up, which I never did for the yellow one. And that will allow a lot of the bubbles to escape. So let's just do it here. So I need one and a half of these. I can't fit two in this, two, uh, four full ones in this. I don't think there's enough space. So near enough to there. Then I'll try and fill this up like halfway and then just gauge it with the other one. Alright. Try and clean this. So we have about one and a half of the resin and then one and a half of the hardener. Oh, just a bit more. Okay, that will be fine. Oh yeah, and half one as well. Yeah, so I'll measure them out and then I'll make the, the little stand for the model. I should have done that first. These won't harden if they're not mixed, which is fine. That's plenty. Yeah. So resins have been measured but not mixed, so they won't harden. Now, uh, I've made a few, I made, I made like seven of these. Uh, I think I'll do a, a few more tests. So the other resin that I have arriving comes on the 28th. This will be a clear test. I want to see how clear this resin can get. If it turns out absolutely perfect, um, I'll, I'll use this. I'll, I'll order two more lots of this, so four bottles more. And the amount I need for the actual resin casting of the mosquito is just over one liters i have one liter arriving of the other resin so 
I'll wait and see. I may do a large pour just to see how that turns out. But anyway, we'll put this to the side. In fact, no, we need this. So we need to see how much this weighs. How much it is. Um, five centimeters. So we need. Oh, do I take the fucking thing off? We need about. I, I can cut. I can trim this anyway. So see here. And I want to see how transparent this can get uh, with the resin to see if it's crystal clear. And I'll just do a wee circle. Two, one for the bottom. I'll try that. So that's that one cured. It will be hard to see, and but you can you can see the steam coming from these because the the UV light is uh, cooking the resin near enough. So that's nice and nice and hard. There we go. How this is so cool. So I just need to make sure that we are right, we need two and a half, so we're over a bit. That's proven to be more difficult than I thought. Well, there we go. Never mind. Done. So, first of all, we need to stick. this onto here. Now I'll use this for the bottom. Don't put it on yet. Just like that, it's, it's cooked. We will put this wee tiny bit on here because I need a flat surface so it can stick nice and smoothly. To the bottom of the mould. Tweezers, I'll go with a small one. I need to flip it upside down so it's nice and flat. Okay, wait, wait, it's not going to work. And there we go. 
Next, we are just going to put a tiny dollop in the center. We don't need this anymore, we can get rid of that. And we're just going to try and stick this. Okay, how about, is it easier with tweezers if I just... No, I need to try and... Right about there, I need to try and figure this out. I need to find an easier way to do this. There we go, that'll be fine. I'm, pr I'm, pr I'm pressing the wrong end. So this is something that I thought of doing with the mosquito, but because I'm colouring the, the, the resin, I would need to make identical colours from the epoxy, uh, from the UV resin and the epoxy resin, uh, which I did try in the test fold, uh, the test resin. Of course, they're, they're different colours, but it's it's not something that I'm going to risk trying to do. It would be easy if, it, if, I, if I wasn't colouring the resin, it would be so much easier, but I wouldn't hit the brief. I would just be a mosquito on resin, not prehistoric brief. Okay, so we're done with this. We are now going to, before we mix these, I need water here, uh, 55 degrees, and then we can continue. But yeah, we can mix these now actually. And then while well, that's, no wait. Yeah, let's get the water first. Right, so we are back. We have the warm water, we have cold water, a uh, kettle water with a touch of cold water in it. Where did I put the... yeah, here we go. Just let me double check the temperature. So yeah, we are looking at 51 degrees, so I may need to heat it up um, after I mix the resin. So that will take about five minutes. So put that to the side. And let's... Mix this resin, put that to the side as well. So what I did uh, when I first done this was I mixed very vigorously. Now I shouldn't have because that caused a lot of bubbles. Um, I only heated up the the mixture for like five seconds in hot water, then back out just till it was a bit more loose. But after watching more videos since then. Um, they leave in for a good five minutes in really hot water and you just see all the bubbles come out. So put that there. We'll add all the same kind first. All the, this is the resin. Now I will do another test after this off camera and I will just have it completely clear to see how clear this can get. Nothing in it, no UV resin, just this resin as is. Now it's looking to be that this will be a better th uh, a better amount. Hopefully I can fit it all in here. It's just going to be enough, thank God. Thank you so much. I was thinking I'm going to need to try and find something to put this in. But like that, even as is, there is still quite a bit of bubbles. I've not even mixed it yet. Okay, so let's set a timer. for four minutes.
but I will probably stir it maybe another four after it. Just so I can take my time, make sure I've got it all nicely mixed. I'm getting a little here for this thing. I should be just here before we actually record the notes. You shouldn't see any white lines for the show. I'm just going to go to the next. I'm just going to go to the next and I should get it. I don't think I have much, much less holes than I had going yesterday, but I see it in the video. I was going so quick because I was going to say it was not really holes. I had it in the middle. So I'm hoping to have much less when I put in the one more. I should have a lot less. I don't think I'm not solving it. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Right, I'm just going to check the temperature of this water. I may need to adjust it. Yeah, we're at 46 degrees. Now I have heated the water up. So let's see where we are at. We're at 46, now we are to 53 degrees so that should be enough so let's leave this in this Let's get something a bit more um, shallower so I can put it in better. Right, right I think this is a better idea. Um, the, the, the mixture was sitting a bit too low in the water. Yeah, that's fine. We're about 54 degrees. So I'll just mix this in a few minutes with this, leave it for a few minutes. In fact, I won't even mix it. Let's get rid of this, we don't need this. And I did check to make sure that there wasn't any leaks within this container first, so let's go and get more water. So this will be a lot easier to do when I have my actual uh, bigger mixing uh, cups to do in and I can completely submerge it in hot water. What temperature is this water? So 50 degrees, so I'll make it hotter next time for the, the next uh, cast. 
and hopefully there's enough in here to fill this up. I think there should be. And also, I never needed to glue the sides because it has fully been covered in tape, so it is completely airtight and waterproof. Yeah, 24 hour curing time, so I should have plenty of time before this hardens. Right, so I'll make this enough time for now. I will do, for the other test, I will make it much longer and make the water a lot hotter, so maybe up to 60 degrees or even 70. So let me just try this first. So here we go. And there we go. I'm just going to press it to make sure that there's no air pockets underneath it. But I think we're good. So let's leave it like that. Now this will take about 24 hours to dry. I will leave it two days and then we will unbox it to see how it all turns out. So yeah, that is part one of this video. I will film the end of the video in a few days. Now, the last part of the video. So I decided to just go ahead and open up this one because the other two clear ones uh, will be ready tomorrow. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I want to try and open this to see what it's like. Um, so yeah, we're just going to open up this one. So first of all, I'm just going to cut away this extra invisible thread. So the test is to see if we can actually see this. And there is it. That should be enough. Right, I've also got towels just in case it's somewhat liquidy. Hopefully it shouldn't be because it's been over the 24 hours. It's been 48 hours now. So let's just unstick this, see how well this. That's the car right there. There we go. There. Can we use that? Now we have this. So I'm hoping that the 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 glass is going to not glass, the acrylic sheets is going to peel off nice and easily. And hopefully it's going to be nice and shiny, the the resin. Watch, that is perfectly smooth. And loads of bubbles as well. Due to me mixing crazy for this one. So it came off um, so easily. Um, yeah, at first I think I should try and see if it's easy to peel off the glue, which it is.
No, that's difficult. Yeah, it takes a little bit of effort to start it off. But then, as you can see, it's, it's peeling off literally one go. There, glue is all off. And we just have this. Okay, so I think I'll just cut this off. Um, so what next? Maybe find an end on the tape. Well, that's going to be quite tricky. Or it isn't. Would it just be easier if I just cut the tape? Let me try that. Let me try and cut this together. I can't see where the start and the end of the perspex sheets are. I think I think I already cut this one. Do it. Yeah, that's peeling off nicely like that. So let's try this one. One more. I think it's here. Yeah, I don't think I got that one, but let's try it anyway. Where's the side that came undone? There. That's it's perfectly smooth. Wow, so shiny as well. How do I do this? There. And then one more. Oh, this is really stuck. I can't see a spot that I could use the scalpel to try and help remove it. Without scoring the the resin. Oh, there we go. There, so completely done. That's actually quite cool. Even even with all the bubbles, it's actually really really cool. Like from this angle, it looks really nice. I'm so happy with this. I'm unbelievably happy. Now, what the the people that I watched. Uh, do it after this as they just trim the edges. And the thing is, I'm not looking for something to be absolutely perfect when I do the actual one. Um, even if it's like this and I'm just trimming bits off here and there, cutting up, making it rough, that's going to add a lot more value to the actual the piece. Because I'm not, I'm not expecting a perfect cube, though I'm expecting a perfect cube with rough parts. So it's just seeing how it all goes. I 
and the parts that are quite thin and clear at the top it's easy enough to just uh, trim it away you might need to get a, a bigger one of these So I think that's it. Near enough. Oh yeah. I can't see the invisible wire. That could be it's just all the bubbles or it is in fact invisible in general. I mean you can see it at the top there but I can, I can, I can easily trim that to match the, the surface level. But overall, I am extremely happy with this, with this piece. It's turned out solid as it should. I was worried about how would the, the Perspex glass peel off, which it peeled off very easily, other than that last side, which needed a little starting point to then peel off um, very quick and effortlessly. And it's very shiny as well. Very shiny, very smooth. So yeah, I'm over the moon with this. And that is it for part four, I think. Um, yeah, I will unbox, uh, unattach the other ones um, in an upcoming video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. And I will see you in the final part where we, can, we put everything together for the final product, which I will give about a week to dry, so. In two weeks, you should see the final.